I'm Dr. Louis Nasri. I'm the chair of pediatrics at ARCOM. I'm also the president of the Fort Smith Islamic Center and the vice chair of the Fort Smith Interfaith Committee. Let's pray. In the name of God, the most merciful, most beneficent, we thank you, God, for all the blessings you bestowed upon us. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to learn a small fraction of your knowledge. God, please lead us to the right path where we continue our journey for seeking more of your knowledge. God, please give us the will, perseverance, and empathy to help all humans maintain their good health and treat their illnesses to our best abilities. God, through wisdom, we work each day to enrich our minds and to satiate them with the taste of the world around us. Through wisdom, we become aware of the universe around us. Through wisdom, we immerse ourselves into a world that veils and reveals the divine image. Our questions are many, but our answers are few. Our ponderings are many, but our solutions are few. Our schooling is finite, but our learning is infinite. God, please make all our deeds blessed by you. God, you're the God of knowledge. You're the God of healing. You're the God of mercy. You created us. You know every last minute part of us. You know our souls. You know our fears and desires. God, please shed thy grace on us. God, please engulf us in thy mercy. God, we thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Good morning, and welcome to the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education inaugural graduation event. I'm Kyle Parker. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of AIC. That's the name that we've given the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. We thought it was kind of cute. I would like to congratulate you today. You have achieved an incredible milestone. I must be honest with you, I didn't think we'd be videotaping this. I thought I'd be looking out and over all of you graduates. But life throws us lots of curveballs. I remember standing and looking in the hallway right outside the room to which you studied in. Some of you were incredibly confident. Some of you were incredibly scared. But all of you got to here and this day. As you move forward in your life, some of you will continue to study and go to classes. Some of you will pursue a totally different career than what you thought you would do. And some of you, when the world opens back up, will go back to work and probably get a raise for this amazing accomplishment. Let me say on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the administration, faculty, and staff, the congratulations that you so well deserve. I wish you the best. Ake will always be here for you. Good luck. Well, good morning, hello, and congratulations. My name is John Taylor. I have the privilege of being the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Ake, which is, of course, the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. Uh, this is a very special time. You all are the very first generation, the first class to ever graduate from Ake. But I want you to understand that this, you're the culmination of something that started 133 years ago in 1887 by a small act of kindness from Reverend George Deegan, who encountered an injured worker who had no funds, literally went up and down the street with his hat in his hand, collected money, and rented a building, hired a doctor to provide health care for people that did not have access to it. 133 years ago, that ended up becoming, starting a chain of events that became Sparks Hospital, now Baptist Health. In 2009, the Board of Trustees of Sparks sold the hospital, and the capital from that sale ended up being what funded 
ache. And so in 2009, we sold the hospital. In 2014, we incorporated the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. I always make a point of making, emphasizing this, that it is plural, the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. When we designed the name, we did that on purpose. There's a quote that's been attributed to Mark Twain, but he probably wasn't the first one that said it. But it's, here's a question, a very introspective question is this. What are the two most important days of your life? Think about that for just a second. Well, obviously, the first most important day is the day you were born. But they would suggest, Mark Twain and others would suggest, that the other most important day is the reason, is when you discover the reason why. Why were you born? What's your purpose here? Perhaps today is the beginning or maybe the culmination of a discovery in your own life as to your why. Jackie Robinson was somebody we all celebrate his life. Jackie Robinson is someone that I describe as a disruptor. Now, the word disruptor typically has a negative connotation, but in Jackie Robinson's case and in Reverend George Deegan's case, being a disruptor is a positive connotation. Jackie Robinson said this, a life is not important except in the impact it has on others. If you were to read the mission statement for Ake, it talks about a number of things, training, compassion, healthcare people, etc. but it ends with six simple words, and the words are this, to improve the lives of others. Now that's disruption. When George Deegan started this 133 years ago, he started a process that culminated with here we are today. And he disrupted a lot of things, and ache is about disruption. Ache is about changing the nature and the course and the access of health care for our entire region. Not just for now, but for decades to come. It will impact thousands and hundreds of thousands of lives. Now, you are the first graduating class, and as I, as I represent the Board of Trustees, we're so excited that you're the very first. That will never change. A hundred years from now, you'll be the first class that ever graduated from Ake. And maybe you have discovered your why. Maybe this is the first step in discovering what your why is. So those two important days, the two most important days in your life, the day you were born, but even more importantly, when you discover why, your why, why you're here. I would challenge you to be to remember one word from what I'm saying today, and it's the word disruption. Simple word starts with a D. Just remember the D and maybe the disruption will come to you. But I would challenge you to be a disruptor. I would challenge you to change other people's lives and be a disruptive force for the good. And as we finish up here and we talk about that mission statement once again for Ake, it ends with these simple words to improve the lives of others. It's what George Deegan was about. It's what Jackie Robinson was about. And once again, Jackie Robinson says the test of your life is this, that your life is not important except for the impact it has and the benefits away on others. Congratulations to those of you who are receiving today your master's in biomedicine, and I wish you the very best for your journey and embrace your role as a disruptor. Congratulations from the Board of Trustees. Greetings our Master of Science in Biomedicine graduating class of 2020. I would first like to thank President Kim, CEO Parker, Dean McLean, MSB Coordinator Mrs. Savannah Robinson, our distinguished faculty and staff, and most of all, our Master of Science in Biomedicine class of 2020 for making possible this event, the very first commencement held by the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. I would like to especially acknowledge the Arkansas River Valley community who conceived of our school and brought it into being half a decade ago. On this solemn but joyful occasion, I would like to share a few thoughts as each of you embark on the next phase of your lives. As you receive your hard-earned degree, I would ask you to consider the words of Sir Winston Churchill, who said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Today, you will receive several tangible and intangible items. The most tangible item you receive is a degree that credentials you as a scholar who, through diligent study and rigorous examination, has demonstrated your mastery of knowledge in the fields of anatomy, biochemistry, molecular biology, physiology, microbiology, and immunology. This degree and the knowledge that it represents will be a tangible asset as you pursue a career in the professional healthcare workforce. Aside from the MSB degree itself, you will graduate with intangible but precious assets that are symbolized by your degree, yet cannot be denoted by mere words on parchment. 
Chief among these intangible assets will be faith, hope, and love. I would like us to take a moment to reflect on these individually. Faith is a confidence or trust in a person or thing that has not been based on proof. You each took a leap of faith by entering an inaugural class in a new and untested program. You had faith that your professors possessed skill and dedication to educate you and mentor you through the hardships of a meaningful graduate education. You had faith in one another that your student body could stand as one to pursue common purpose. You had faith in yourselves that you had the fortitude to succeed. As you move forward throughout life, I hope you will continue to nurture the same faith as it bears fruit. And I hope you will share that fruit generously. For faith is something that most enriches us when we give it away to others. Hope is the persistence of faith. The writer Sharon Blake tells us that hope is an optimistic attitude of mind based on expectations for the future. Faith says it is so now, whereas hope says in the future it could happen. You each harbored hopes that the MSB program would open new doors of opportunity in your professional lives. Many of you already have seen some of those hopes realized. Most of you have not yet seen all your hopes achieved. But to all of you, I say, celebrate the fulfillment of hope when you can, but always fight to keep hope alive. For hope is a warm fire that is not so necessary on a balmy summer afternoon, but it is essential in the coldest, darkest depths of a winter night. Like faith, hope is an asset that is only valuable when you spend it. You will find that the more you share your hope with others, the more you warm your own soul. Love, likely, is not a virtue that most of you consciously aspire towards when you apply to the MSP program, but I earnestly hope it is a virtue you have felt grow inside your spirit this year. The Apostle Paul said that faith, hope, and love abide. These three, but the greatest of these is love. I've often pondered what the Apostle meant by the statement. At first blush, it would seem that faith and hope could exist without love. But a hopeless love is fickle and momentary, while a faithless love is no love at all. Over the years, though, I have come to believe that love actually is a prerequisite without which neither faith nor hope can survive. There are times in life when even the most confident person feels their faith shaken to the core, perhaps by a personal betrayal or by constantly witnessing unfairness and iniquity. At these times, the fire of hope seems to gutter, and our souls begin to grow cold. These are the times, though, when love still abides. Love for our family, love for our friends, love for our patients and students and those we would protect. Love of knowledge for its own sake. Love of wisdom, love of honor, love of duty, and love of the beauty one finds in truth. At your lowest and saddest times, embrace love beyond all else and share it as widely as you can. That is how you make a life and not just earn a living. Congratulations, my MSB class of 2020. I am very proud of you. I wish you great happiness and look forward to following your successes in the coming years and decades as you go forth to share your gifts with the world. The MSB Student of the Year is presented to the student deemed to best embody the mission of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. This is a difficult award to present because all of our MSB students have earned honor for themselves through their hard work and professionalism. The recipient of this award has demonstrated a particularly deep and abiding personal commitment to community service in Arkansas and Oklahoma. This individual demonstrates a consistent desire to help others over seeking personal accolades. The recipient has mustered both courage and persistence to consistently perform at a high academic level across the entire MSB curriculum, thus laying the foundation for their professional education as a means of moving closer to their goal of one day providing quality medical care to those in need. This MSB Student of the Year is Shane Brown. The Outstanding Student in Foundations of Anatomical Sciences is an award that recognizes the highest scoring MSB student in anatomy. This year, there is a tie. The recipients of this award are Chelsea Ratzlaff and Izzy Tran. The Outstanding Student in Biochemistry is an award that recognizes the highest scoring student in medical biochemistry. Again, we have a tie. The recipients of this award are Abdullah Alazawi, 
Chelsea Ratzlaff, and Izzy Tran. Ten months ago, we all stepped foot in a classroom on the third floor that we soon made our home. We set out on a journey to become the inaugural class of a program that we entrusted with our futures. That was the beginning of many firsts that we'd accomplished together as a class. Several of us faced anatomy for the first time and we survived. Sure, we saw a couple of technical difficulties and a few silent films, but we always made the best of it. We learned once and for all that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and courtesy of Dr. Bridges that no matter who you are, hemoglobin is sexy. We learned, we grew, and we overcame every and any obstacle that was thrown at us with grace and perseverance. Currently, we are conquering yet another first. We are so proud to be not only the first class to graduate from AIC, but the first to also do so online in the midst of a pandemic. Although I'm sure that this isn't the traditional walk across the stage that we had all envisioned for ourselves, it is no less significant or momentous. Every student here should be so proud of the dedication and hard work that we put in when no one was watching. This program may have intended to simply solidify our foundation in science so that we could be better prepared for our futures in healthcare, but I think that it taught us so much more. We learned about our own strength, how to build a supportive community, and finally, to always keep pushing forward. For many of us, this is just the beginning, but I'm confident that no matter what each one of us does next, we are prepared to face it with the same perseverance that we have come to learn so well. And as we each begin the next phase, I wanna encourage you all to not forget this piece of your journey or the individuals that helped you get one step closer to your goals. We couldn't be here today if it weren't for the support from our families, our friends, and most importantly, the many faculty and staff here at AIC who believed in us, even we may not have believed in ourselves. I'm so grateful for each and every one of my classmates for giving me the opportunity to serve as the first president of the MSB program. It has truly been an honor to serve and learn alongside this class. Lastly, I'd like to end with a quote from our program director, Dr. Hensley, who has continually supported, encouraged, and inspired us all. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. Day by day, grow stronger and maintain your strength. Be patient as you move towards your goals. One day at a time will get you where you need to be. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Good morning. My name is Brian Kim, president of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. It is my honor to address the inaugural graduating class of the Masters of Science in Biomedicine program. Not only are you graduating today, you represent our first ever graduating class from any program here at the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. It has been a pleasure to come to know you as a class and individually during my time at AIC. Among the elements of AIC's mission is to educate and train a diverse group of highly competent and compassionate healthcare professionals. Today, you are the realization of that mission. The current events of the day remind us of the critical role healthcare workers play in our society. Whether you plan to pursue a career in medicine or a different career within the healthcare industry following graduation, I urge you to make a difference. The Masters of Science in Biomedicine program has given you the tools to apply them in your chosen path. Now, your time has come to apply what you have learned for the benefit of your and our community. Thank you for choosing the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education to achieve your educational goals. I offer my most sincere congratulations on your life-changing accomplishment. Now it is my honor to introduce our keynote speaker, the Honorable George McGill, Mayor of Fort Smith. Mayor McGill was elected in 2018 as Fort Smith's first African-American mayor. 
He has served this community and the entire state of Arkansas with a long history of legislative service. Mayor McGill's record of public service and volunteer work is much too extensive to list individually and of course quite impressive. But here is just an example of a few. He currently serves on the board of the Boast Foundation, the Fort Smith Symphony, Fort Smith Boys and Girls Club, Fort Smith Historical Society, and the Fort Smith Chamber of Commerce. Mayor McGill works hard to promote this part of the state and is often heard proclaiming Fort Smith proud and River Valley strong. Graduates, I proudly present to you the Honorable George McGill. Good morning. What an awesome occasion this is for me, uh, the city of Fort Smith, Arkansas, and the state of Arkansas, and, and the United States of America, and that uh, we're going to graduate our very first class of the Arkansas Colleges of Health and Education. What a dream and what a vision. Uh, but before I get started, let me take a minute to, to recognize people that had the courage or vision to understand they could do some hard work. Kyle Parker, the visionary, he's always one to believe he can do hard stuff. And he's accomplished it once again here in the River Valley. Certainly the board of trustees who put their faith and trust in him and, and encourage him that if you will lead this charge, we will support you in every way we can. And they've done that. And uh, to the chairman of the board, John Taylor, dear friend, thank you so much for always lending your, your support and your mind to make things happen in the River Valley. And President Kim, we're glad you're here. Again, what an exciting time to address the inaugural class. You know, the bar is now in place. The bar for education is in place at this college, at these colleges. And it was placed high on purpose. It was placed with an idea of excellence from the very beginning. And congratulations to all of you. You, you have cleared that bar. And I know on many occasions there were times when you thought you knew it all and, and you had a handle on things and then you realized in your humble assessment of the truth that you couldn't do it. But the beautiful thing about all of this, there was someone there that was smiling to watch you turn around and ask for help and ask for guidance as you realized that you could do this. And you were determined to do it. I know there were many times you called home and said, Mom, Dad, I can't do this. It's too hard. But at the end of the day, someone gave you some encouraging words to say, yes, you can. Not only are you armed with all the technical skills and the medical knowledge, but the thing I love about this place, they've armed you with the things that really matter. They've armed you with a sense of kindness for your patients. They've armed you with a sense of knowledge, a, a sense of giving, a sense of caring, that more times than not makes a difference in how quickly someone heals. And we thank you for that. And that's become a part of your culture. And this institution was founded on some of those principles of being kind to those that are suffering, listening to those in need. And you're prepared to do that. A minute for the parents and all the loved ones who made those sacrifices to spend their resources and take a chance on you coming to Fort Smith, Arkansas. You trusted us in, in how we were going to treat the students when they came to Fort Smith, Arkansas. And talk to them about this river valley that we love. We embraced them as our very own. I adopted them as my own sons and daughters. And the quality of education that they received is one of the very best. And I thank you for taking a chance on us. Let me close. I don't want to keep you long. Just share a story with you. Uh, many, many years ago, I was invited to do a, to speak to the honored students at the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville, the uh, business students that honors class. And, and as I was preparing for them, I was 
a little nervous. I was thinking, what in the world would I tell the best and brightest students at the University of Arkansas? What could I tell them to inspire them? And while I was thinking on those things, my grandson was enjoying his big wheel, they call them in the day. It was three wheel toy that he rode and and I just out of fun I stopped him. And I said, do me a favor. I said, I am I have to prepare a speech to deliver to uh, some very smart and bright students at the University of Arkansas. And I explained to him who they were and and how important this speech was to me, and I wanted to say something to inspire them. <clears throat> and I said, if you would, and he was, keep in mind, he's all of six years old. I said, what should I tell them? And he has this perplexed look on his face, and he takes off on the big wheel. And I'm thinking, this rascal just left after me asking him a question. As I was contemplating what to say, he shows up again. And he gets off of his vehicle and looks at me and says, Hey, Grandpa, tell them to do good. And he takes off. I said, From the mouth of a child, the most profound, short verse I could ever tell you is to do good. Do good for your families. Do good for this medical school because you will ever, forever, be associated with this college. Wherever you go, whatever you do, you're going to be associated with it, and we're counting on you. It matters to us what you do. Do good for us. Do good for your parents who invested in you. Do good for your children in your hometown. Do good for us in the River Valley because certainly I'm going to continue to brag about you, the first class that we turn loose from here. Um, he said simply do good for the brothers. Keep in mind, I taught him at an early age. Every man is his brother. So he says, Grandpa, tell them to do good for the brothers. So you go and do good for the brothers. Don't lose your zeal. You came here with a zeal to be good at what you do. You came here with the zeal to learn, the zeal to explore. And again, we made sure that you had every piece of equipment, every professional you needed to, to maintain that zeal. And my hope, and certainly as the mayor of Fort Smith, my hope is that you one day return. I hope some of you stay. But certainly my hope is one day that you will return, you will Span across America and you will make a decision that I'm going back to Fort Smith, Arkansas, where they gave me so much, where they cared for me so much. I'm going to go back there and serve in that community. Now is the time for all of you. Go out and make a name for yourself. Go out and make a name for the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. Congratulations to all of you. Keep in mind, you have made all of us Fort Smith proud and River Valley strong. We will now recognize each of our Masters of Science in Biomedicine candidates. No matter where you may be watching from today, I ask all the candidates for the degree of Masters of Science in Biomedicine to please rise. Upon the favorable recommendation of the faculty of the Masters of Science in Biomedicine and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Masters of Science in Biomedicine with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Abdullah Alazawi. Austin Barais. Sabella Blanc.
Matthew Brooks. Shane Brown. Bethany Costa. Noah Drone. Colleen Dunbar. Kelsey K. Ellis. Hannah Ford. Tierra E. Garcia. Jalen Hayes Hill. Jed Igmanova. Aaron Inman. Kylie Johnson. Wade Johnson. Brittany Kaufman. Amon Deep Core. Shakan David Kim Amber Lee Tedrick Mangasarian. Kevin Maxwell. Colby Morrison. Maya Nolan Clark. John Phillips. Michael Phillips. Sonia Prasad. Cynthia Wrangle. Mohammed Rasuli. Chelsea Ratzliff. Alexander Riffle. Nadine Sabir.
Victoria Schrock. Shaman Shahab. Jonathan Thomas. Kayla Thomas. Nia Train. Femi Varghese. Sydney Wilderman. On behalf of the AIC Alumni Association, congratulations on your completion of the MSB program. I am Dr. Ray Stowers, Chairman of External and Alumni Relations, and I am very proud of your hard work and determination. As our inaugural graduates, we welcome you as the first members of the AIC Alumni Association. Participating in the Alumni Association is your opportunity to stay connected to AIC and your fellow classmates. This will also be your opportunity to help future graduates. You have proven yourselves to be trailblazers, and I know we can count on you to continue to lead the way. As you take the next steps in your life, know that AIC will always be here for you. Best wishes and congratulations. On behalf of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education, I would like to thank everyone who has participated in our inaugural Masters of Science in Biomedicine program commencement ceremony. Graduates, I speak for the Board of Trustees, the faculty, and the staff when I say, job well done. We will conclude today's ceremony with a short video montage of the past year. Again, congratulations and thank you.